Like most guys will say, I didn't really want to be a priest. I thought it would be cool in eighth grade, but then uh, kind of pulled a Jonah and ran away from it a little bit, um, pursuing uh, other things, music, a family, uh, fame. Um, but then I realized that those things really weren't going to make me as happy as I could be. Not that they were bad things, but um, so really choosing between two good things, priesthood and a married life of music. And uh, I discerned that God had that in store for me and would rather have me become a priest to uh, better fulfill my happiness. No one discerns alone, so you need to be with someone, either get a spiritual director or be with a community of people because you can't just do it, figure it out all on your own. Um, and constant asking of the Lord, what do you want from me and help me to get there. Uh, my favorite part and the biggest surprise was um, how, the, how different the cross, the crucifix looks. Just the, you know, I've always looked at it, the art is the same and the design's the same, but um, just there's a, there's a deeper bitterness there and then there's an even deeper sweetness. Um, now that I myself am starting to be aligned with the heart of Christ, uh, the crucifix is a, another source of uh, comfort for me. I really like the uh, academic opportunities that we had, like just the vast amounts of libraries and the resources that we had in the teachers and professors themselves um, really gave us an opportunity to grow and uh, to form ourselves and prepare ourselves for priesthood. People can support their priests, particularly in this time, by praying for them daily, uh, giving them words of encouragement, um, and befriending them and walking with them because we're doing the same thing for the laity as well. My hopes are that I can bring joyful freedom to people no um, matter what that looks like. That's just kind of the word that the Holy Spirit gave to me as I was, as I was uh, entering ordination, that um, freedom in joy in God's love.